Hey Blade Ops, today we're doing a quick demo of the CRKT Triumph. This is the Tiger Striped and the product code on that is 1031TS. Um, not this exact model, but the Triumph Spring Assisted from CRKT was one of the first knives I ever owned. So, I have my opinions on it. I like it. I like it for some reasons. There are some drawbacks. And we'll go through some specs first of all. Uh, you got a three and a half inch OS8 steel blade, eight and a half inches overall, and it's about 6.3 ounces. Um, right off the bat, let's talk about some things I like. I like the blade. I like Tanto for this type of situation, um, tactical, whatever you want to call it. Um, those VEF serrations, mine didn't have that, but those are wicked. Um, Tiger Stripe blade if you like it. I do like the locking mechanism. It's spring assisted then to lock it with your index finger you have to slide that down and hold it while you move the liner lock. If you're in a fighting situation or any sort of tactical situation and your hand pushes that or anything bumps against that it won't it will not close. You must depress that and then use the liner lock to close it. So some people might not like that for quick closing but if you notice you can just use it with your index finger, thumb, closes fairly easily. Um, the pocket clip is not reversible. Not It is removable, but not reversible. Um, another thing I like about it, it's got some good texturing on here. The G10 is very aggressive. Um, I would compare it to maybe a Cold Steel AK-47 or Recon, but it could be even a little bit more aggressive than that. So that's gonna eat up your pocket. One reason why I might not EDC this knife. I would use it on a tactical vest, or in a bag, or something that I'm not going to use as much. Um, just because the G10 is so aggressive, it can tend to eat up whatever you have it rubbing against on this side. Uh, price point on this, with the shipping and everything included, 89 bucks. I think that's hard to beat. Um, another drawback is, I mean, if you're holding this, this looks tactical, this looks military, this looks very, very aggressive. Um, that can be a plus or a minus depending on how you're using it. Um, but for an EDC, not the best choice for me. But I do like this knife and I do, know, I do own it. Um, mine is the green handled one. Green handle and black blade. Uh, another plus is this comes out very fast. If you can see, um, very little thumb effort comes out super fast. So let me know what you think down below. If you'd carry it, what you like about it, what you don't. What you think about the Super Rough G10 and what you think about the blade shape. So check it out. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Blade Ops.